Right, the next race from Toronto is a 12 furlong Group 1. It's restricted though. Probably a bad idea to change this into a Group 1 handicap for next season. One is Adiar, Dave Hoody, Megan Markle, Dan Hughes, Nettleton Hill, Darren Thompson, Ridgewood, Craig Beckwith, and Rocksteady, Martin Needham. As the five horses, yeah, and there's three holes and up. Restricted race. It's restricted Group 1. The small field definitely suggests we should maybe look at changing this in the future, and away they go. And quickly away, Megan Markle, also Nettleton Hill up the inside, in between horses RDR and the lilac colours for Dave Hoody, up on the rail is Rock Steady for uh, Martin Eden, then comes Ridgewood for Craig Backworth. But it's RDR, he goes to the front, hard held, a reluctant leader for Dave Hoody, from Nettleton Hill in second, up on the outside is Ridgewood for Craig Backworth, then comes Megan Markle, for Dan Hughes and at the back of the field rock steady for Martin Needham. They're almost an Indian file as they head off on their final circuit with RDI a comfortable leader about three lengths clear of Nettleton Hill in second. Two lengths further back to Ridgewood for Craig Beckwith. Up on that one's outside is Megan Markle for Dan Hughes and Rock Steady at the back of the field for Martin Needham. So Dave Hoodies, RDI and those lighter colours is about four lengths clear now of Nettleton Hill in second. Uh, pushed along for a stride or two, about three lengths further back is Ridgewood, who's just on the inside of Megan Markle, and at the back of the field, Rock Steady, a further three lengths further adrift. It's quite a spaced out field, yeah, probably due to Adia going off quite quickly. So Adia still this five length advantage over Nettleton Hill in second. Ridgewood, further four lengths back, and a length back to Megan Markle, and Rock Steady at the back of the field for Martin Needham. Down the far side of the course is Adia, still this five length advantage over Nettleton Hill, and there's Maroon colours with the white seas for Darren Thompson. He's the current um, title leader. Just behind that is Ridgewood for Craig Beckwith. Megan Markle is travelling really powerfully back in fourth. It looks a big threat and then rock steady. No move from that one near the back of the field. The field starts to pack up now and RDR has been joined by Nestle on Hill. Megan Markle still going powerfully back in third. Ridgewood is in fourth and rock steady. Still got a lot of ground to make up at the back of the field. RDR tries to kick from the front here. Nestle on Hill tries to go with that one but Megan Markle is travelling really well back in third for Dan Hughes and looks like it's only a matter of time before that one joins the leaders. It's Adia in front from Nettles on Hill, but here comes Megan Markle, also running on strongly on the outside. It's just Ridgewood. It's still Adia in front, but Megan Markle is now, has him in his sights, and Megan Markle comes to join Adia in front. It's Adia, Megan Markle on the outside. Adia still has the advantage. Megan Markle by the neck down. It's Adia, but Megan Markle is coming to the front now, and Megan Markle picks it up with half a furlong left to travel, and Megan Megan Markle starts to draw clear from Adia and Nettleton Hill and then came to High Rise who hasn't really picked up. Megan Markle is going to win the Canadian International from Adia in second. Nettleton Hill was third. Richard was fourth for Craig Backwell and Rocksteady was never dangerous back in first for Martin Needham. So Dan Hughes, one of the trainers in line for a possible title challenge. Wins with Megan Markle, Adia was second for Dave Hooley, Nettleton Hill third for Darren Thompson, Ridgewood fourth for Craig Beckwith, and Rock City fifth for Martin Leadham.